Welcome to Marianne Gallery. So we're super proud and excited of our new gallery and uh, we want to kind of bring you in, show you a bit of a tour around the place, maybe show you a few pieces on the wall. Come on in, have a look around. So welcome to the first of our two rooms. Just to explain, the gallery is located in an ace in County Kildare. We operate out of a shared building, so if you come down, just be conscious there is, there is two businesses here in the same premises. Um, the idea behind this room is more so it's our office. It's, it's kind of a, a space where we obviously do a bit of packaging, our daily, kind of all of our daily jobs are done in here because it is an office, but it's also the, the idea behind this room was to have a bit of fun. It's to showcase as much of our stuff, it's cram as much of it on the wall as possible. So at the moment, there's still gaps. We will be kind of resolving that in the next few weeks. And um, yeah, don't be surprised if you come down to stuff hanging on the roof because it could potentially happen. Um, the idea with it, as I say, is to try and get as much of the, the stuff on the wall. We have anything from big pieces, small pieces, sculptures, prints, paintings. It's kind of a mismatch of everything and anything that we have on our website. Um, we obviously have a piece here by John Mann, which is our, he's, he's our security guard. And, um, you know, everything from the desk to chairs, everything was kind of a bit of fun, a bit of colour. All of these were got from pieces.ie. There was, there was weeks of searching for desks and chairs, but we won't go into that at the moment. Um, in relation to some of the pieces we have, we have three Koof prints. Um, they look amazing on the wall. We kind of had to have them nearly behind our desk. Uh, we've solace paintings at the top there. We've a couple of, there's one of our hand finished Porsche prints. I think we've, it's the, either the last one or the second last one. A couple of our Monaco uh, posters. We couldn't fit them on the walls, but we kind of had to get them into the gallery because they're just so, such a cool piece. Um, Derek Smith, they'll be launched over the next week on the website. You'll see them going up. Um, as you kind of get over here, we've Dana Sorokina, we've her beetle painting. Uh, a couple more of our prints by Solace. Um, this is a new piece by Derek Smith. It's not even on the website yet. He only dropped it in last week and it's just back from the framers today. Uh, we obviously have our small Solace prints, these small ballerinas. They're an iconic image at this stage, really. Um, you know, there's an original Solace, that's spray paint on canvas. There's another Solace. We have an Ed Williamson donut. An early enough piece by Ed Williamson. It's great fun. It's one of our favourite pieces. Uh, over here we have Carl Gaff. He's uh, microscopy and photography. He's kind of a, it's all scientific. That one there is cyanide, salicin. I think we have soap as well. There's a few different chemicals he's done. This is Sean Donegan, but we haven't launched him yet, so I can't discuss that just at the moment. Um, we have another Ed Williamson. Again, one of our favourite pieces, it's actually a hand embellished print uh, on canvas. And uh, as you kind of get over here, the idea was we wanted to kind of stagger some of our small bits. Of course, everything will move on a daily basis. At the moment, it was a case of just trying to get stuff on the walls and um, kind of get it up and running. And, and as you see, we will be getting more, at least another line in here and another line in there of works. Um, every corner is kind of crammed. We have our large Graham little piece up here. Um, then we have another solace and into a Banksy. And uh, that's kind of really it for this room. It's, it, as I say, it's a multi-purpose room with stuff going out. These are orders that are ready to be dispatched. They'll go out tomorrow. And um, yeah, that's kind of it really with this room. As the, well, actually, just to finish, the idea was we wanted to keep this room, uh, we kind of wanted to keep them separate to the gallery because the gallery, the whole idea is we want to leave the stuff spaced, it's clean, it's, we keep it meticulous at all times, but we wanted to be able to kind of keep the, the areas open as well. So we got these giant big fat row sliding doors. So if you want to come into the gallery, we'll show you in there next.
So this is essentially the gallery. It's the second of our two, two spaces here. You can hear the, the echo. It's a slightly different room in that um, everything is a bit more kind of clinical. It's spaced out a bit more. It's to showcase the art some more as opposed to kind of the office where it was just kind of crammed in a bit. Um, again, we have a bit, good mixture of everything. Keith Herring, the Koof painting. Um, you're down into, these are Solace. This is the newest pieces by Solace here with the kind of um, the hand finish. He kind of, what he does there is he puts like splatters on it. Um, we have a piece here by Theo Hanley. Again, we haven't officially unveiled Theo, but we have a few of his works here in the gallery. He'll be, we'll be talking more about him over the next few weeks. Um, more new Solace works here. Um, these are pieces you have probably haven't seen before. We haven't discussed them too much. This piece and the piece over there are Derek Smith. Um, the detail in them is absolutely incredible. They're literally like sculptures. They're nearly ha like having kind of 10 or 15 paintings in one painting. Uh, how he does it is unbeknownst to everyone. He won't disclose how he actually paints in this manner. But uh, it's amazing how he gets them to drip. They actually come, they drip off the canvas. So that the canvas finishes there and they drip down further. Uh, we have a few Ed Williamson pieces here. Uh, with two, with the bubble gum, the detail in these are just incredible. It's like hyper realism, nearly, especially in the bubble gum machine. It's one of my favourite pieces. I absolutely love it. And um, there's one of his older works above it. And um, this is when he started doing the helmets. So on the far wall, there's two more of those big, large pieces there as well. And they're again early works of his from, with the helmets, where he started kind of doing. Uh, figures with helmets on them. Um, TJ Miles, another Irish artist. TJ is originally from Belfast. He lives in Spain now. Um, he does nice bright in the scenes. This slight resemblance there of kind of Marky Robinson. Really, again, love him. It's a great piece of colour for the wall. Um, Damien Hurst. <laughs> doesn't really need too much of an explanation. Uh, this wall we try and keep as kind of our centerpiece, but the other reason we have it like this is because our, our in-house photographer comes in every couple of weeks and he photos all the products. So this turns into kind of like our, our photoing studio as such. We have all the lighting and everything that comes in and it turns into our photoing studio down this side. Um, one easel, we'll be getting a few more easels at the moment. Another Derek Smith, that's a new piece by Derek Smith. Again, it's kind of the drip pieces and it, it's a different type. This is the process before he gets to the big drip pieces. Um, we have two benches in here. The benches were made by the guys in, in the, the, as I said before, we, we share this premises and the guys next door in basically here carpenters and they repurposed these are old exhibition stands that they've actually made into benches for us. Uh, it's the same with our plinths again, they're all repurposed wood um, made in house and painted with a cause sculpture. Again, we, I actually originally bought this from my house, one of my favorite pieces again, love cause. Um, as we move down, it's the sculpture wise, we have another sculpture which is Solace. This is a bronze, it's a limited edition of only 20, life balancing. Um, Solace put a huge amount of time and work into these to get them made, and they're absolutely incredible. Um, there's only a couple of them left, as far as I'm aware. Um, we have a few more bits down here. We have Graham Nuttall, it's our Graham Nuttall wall. Unfortunately for anyone that asks, the chef is sold already. We're just minding her while the customer is away at the moment, but it is sold. Um, again, Derek Smith pieces. We have our house cat, who is again, he isn't for sale currently. He's not even on our website. He's just more so kind of a bit of fun we have in the gallery. He's our house cat. Um, a couple more Derek Smith and Graham Nuttall. Uh, the final pieces of which are essentially art in here are our boat chairs. So these are made, these are absolutely incredible. They're handmade by uh, Brendan Lawless. 
and they're called the Irish Boat Builders Chair. We have three of them dotted around the gallery and the office. Um, listen, they're a piece of art in, in themselves, really. Um, and uh, yeah, we think they finish off the gallery very well. Uh, before we finish up, we have Theo Hanley, two Theo Hanley pieces here. And we have an original Kouf painting then in the corner. Um, as you can see, you can see light shining on individual pieces here. So we've track lighting, which runs the whole way around. And as well as the track lighting running the whole way around the room, which is actually holding the paintings, we, we've run a track with, um, it's like a zipper cable. Um, they're, they're on steel lines, so you can support quite a lot of weight. Um, to be honest, they're, they're kind of the best. Like we looked at a lot of different, um, a lot of different systems for hanging the art. In our opinion, it was the best. You can take a lot of weight. They're 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 a little bit messy to use, but we're kind of getting the hang of them. Once you get the hang of them, they're they're actually great. They're a great bit of kit. We re we've really found them very good. Um, obviously, we're super excited to be able to have shown you around and to have a physical space. Being predominantly an online business, we're now in a position to welcome people down. It's by appointment only at the moment. We're not taking walk-ins. Uh, if you want to book an appointment or schedule an appointment, you can do so. All the details are in the description below or just drop us an email or a call. There's no problem, we'll get you booked in. So thank you very much for spending the time walking around. For the time being, we're obviously all over Instagram and social media, our website. We're uploading new pieces all the time. So keep an eye on us, give us a follow. And thank you very much for everything.